Hey guys, this is Felix Ambassy from phpvideotutorials.com and today I'll be showing you how to set up Cake PHP in a Linux environment. It won't be easy, but it won't be hard. If you have any questions after the tutorial, don't be afraid. Just talk to me over Skype. My username is Felix Ambassy. Anyways, to get this tutorial started, first thing you need to do is install LAMP. There's a ready tutorial for it. It's really easy. It's just copying and pasting, so I won't go over that. I'll post a link to the tutorial, though, in the description. Anyways, when you're installing MySQL, make sure to set a password for the root, otherwise PHP my admin will not let you in. Another weird thing about this, though, is Apache. Apache, you know, is not that weird, but when it creates a WW folder, it doesn't give you permission to it unless you're a root. So we're going to change that right now. First thing we need to do is authenticate ourselves as a root user. To do sudo su. And there you go. You might and you probably will have to type in a password for it. But that's okay. Anyways, all we have to do is use a simple command it's called chmod. So we're going to use chmod dash of capital R 0777 and then the folder directory. In this case, it's forward slash bar forward slash ww. And from there, just hit enter and then we'll have access. It's magic. Anyways, another pr problem you're going to be encountering is how to access PHP my admin. Well, you're going to have to set a link into your WW folder to do that. And that's all you have to do. See, link is a folder, this folder. It's really easy to do. If you don't understand what I'm doing, Google it. Best way. Alright, so now let's actually get into the hardcore cake PHP stuff. First thing we need to do is enable mod rewrite. So I found this great tutorial, and I'll walk you through this because there's some things we have to do. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's kind of funny. <laughs> Anyways, well, there should be a mod rewrite.so file in your user lib Apache 2 modules folder. If there is, you're in luck. Not really, because that's supposed to be there. Anyways, so you're going to have to go to your Cedro Apache 2 mods enabled folder, and you're going to have to create a file called rewrite.load. And in that, you're just going to have to copy and paste this snippet of code, and you'll be fine. And then you're going to have to edit this file, also in etc. Apache 2, but it's under the folder sites available. The file is default, not 000-default. And then you're just going to have to override some stuff, and that's it. By override, I mean paste over some stuff. And then you start it, and you're set to go. Now it's actually time to set up CakePHP. So go to cakephp.org. Download Cake, cake PHP 1.3. Download the tar. Open it and let's extract it. All right. There we go. Let's rename this to Cake PHP. All right. There we go. So now, if you go to localhost forward slash Cake PHP. We're going to get a bunch of yellow warnings and errors, and that's not pretty. One of our main errors, though, is it's not writable. It doesn't have access to a certain folder, but we did set that earlier. I don't know why it does that. It just does it every time you install Cake PHP. Anyways, we're just going to do this simple as chmod again. Command. And let's paste that, the folder directory, and hit enter. Done you're good. So now if we refresh this, boom, and it's saying our directory is writable. That is a good thing. Next, you're going to have to open your favorite text editor and because we're going to go edit the security file. And that is located file, open. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm running this application, I'm just using Wine to emulate Notepad++. Anyways, go to where your cake PHP is located. And then we should go to app, config, where are you? Core, there we go. And we're just going to change some security settings. Only our salts and our cipher seed. Both are very important security. Anyway, just replace this with a random generation of lines. Well, not lines, characters, and you will be good. Alright, that's good. Now for this one, it's just numbers, so it's a lot easier. 
Make sure you include everything. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Save it. Refresh. Now we just got to set up our database. Really easy. You know, we just got to file open. Got to rename something. I mean, this is really easy once you get the hang of it. Just rename it to database.php. Mm. Open it. And just put in your MySQL information. Like for me, my login is root because a database was a password was required. How to get database? I don't know. I said localhost as my password. Simple to remember. And yeah, database name. We're gonna try vid tut. I remember setting that up earlier, so that shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Cake is able to connect to the database. Everything's looking pretty sexy, so we're good to go. Now it's time to bake our app. But before we do that, you're going to have to install something. Instead of setting the environment variables like you do in Windows, you could do that this way, but this is simple. You're simply just going to install some, well, cakephp scripts. And this will automatically basically set your cake PHP environment variables. So now if you type cake, boom, got the cake console. So now we're just going to do cake bake our application. But let's go to their folder we want. Cake bake vid tut. This looks okay? Yeah, that does. Verbal output? Yes. Persistent connection, yes. That's just Michael MySQL underscore P connect, which just means it's always gonna be a connection. That's good for our high trafficking sites. Local host database name vid tut. It's all good. Hit yes. No. There we go. Let's test this out. Cross your fingers and hope it works. And there we go. It works. You just set up Cake PHP non a Linux environment. It's really easy. Linux is free. It's open source. You know, there's a huge list. Now, some people may argue some points, but don't listen to them. Linux is great, and now you can program Cake PHP on it. The only thing I have to say bad about Linux is it can't have it can't em one can't emulate Fireworks CS4. So I'm stuck with Fireworks 8. But that's okay, I can just switch over to Windows when I'm designing. But anyways, now I can program C++ and CakePHP on this, so that's great. Anyways, hope you enjoy Linux with CakePHP.